a f body at the bottom of a lake. Aye. We out here moving weight, robbing me was a mistake. I'm, I'm stacking severed heads up on a sharpened wooden stake. Look, if you speak about it, then you need to be about it. Don't just run your cheek about it. Trust me, we can beef about it. This ain't no debate. Aye. I make the common shake. Name a single rapper going harder in the diamond state. I'm a way. Wrestling fans, welcome to another phenomenal episode of Diamond State Wrestling Flawless. This program is brought to you weekly, which showcases the flawless stars of Diamond State Wrestling. And we've got a good show for you here today. We've got a debuting wrestler. His name is Muwabi, and he's going to be debuting against the up-and-coming Dre Sean Prince. And Dre Sean Prince has gone out and hired himself a manager Truman Hudson III, and how that plays out with what has been going on with the United coming out and watching Drayshawn Prince's matches, we'll see. But Muwabi versus Drayshawn Prince to start us off. Well, when it looks like the United was going to make an investment in Drayshawn Prince, it looks like he already found an investor. That's Truman Hudson to the third power. Muwabi, not sure what's going to go on with that. Haven't seen him before, so we got to take a gander over there and see what's going to be exactly going on with Mawabi. Yep, and that should be a good match. And in the main event, we've got the finals of the King of Diamonds tournament. Remember, the winner of the King of Diamonds tournament gets a shot at the Diamond State Heavyweight Championship, which is currently held by the Juicy Boy, Pineapple Jack. Not for long. That's going to feature classically violent William J. Blackwell, one half of the tag team champions, Tino Valentino, and then Black Diamond, Luke Langley. That's a main event anywhere in wrestling. Absolutely. And if you're thinking about what royalty is, that is William J. Blackwell, the wrestling savant. He is a wrestling savant, but he is with United. We'll see who wins that match. But before we head to the ring, let's head to the back and hear from Terry Allen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Diamond State Flawless. My guest at this time, Mr. Moneyback Guarantee, Dre Sean Prince. Uh, Dre Sean, I thought I was just going to be interviewing you today, but uh, it appears you've uh, brought someone else here. Would you like to elaborate, or well, how about you, sir? Would you like I'll to elaborate? elaborate. All right. My name ahead. is Truman Hudson III. I'm the private consultant to money back guaranteed enterprises. And people claim, numerous people claim that they are game changers. But on day one, we already have record setting numbers on the stock market. We already have record setting people wanting to come in and invest with money back guaranteed enterprises. So when you want your money back, Ray Sean Prince, Truman Huston III, we're the men to call. Money back guaranteed enterprises, isn't that right? That's right, man. I've waited a long time to show the world what I'm capable of. And now we begin the first stages. You're welcome for the profit. All right, two young entrepreneurs right here at Diamond State Wrestling looking to make that money. Can't say I blame them. Jake and Jamie, back to you. Thanks, Terry. Jamie, we've got a great match here to start things off on Flawless. We have the finals of the King of Diamonds tournament, which is a triple threat match between this man right here, Tino Valentino, one half of the tag team champions, Black Diamond Luke Langley, and classically violent William J. Blackwell. Yes, all the exciting action we've had the last few weeks leading all to this moment where the wrestling savant finally wins the King of Diamonds tournament. And this right here is a man that you're a big fan of, Black Diamond, Luke Langley. He should have won the uh, championship last fall in the triple threat ladder match for the Diamond State Heavyweight Championship, but the United screwed him out of it. But here he is, folks, Black Diamond. Luke Langley. Weighing in at 205 pounds from Ohio, 
from Wichita, Kansas, the Black Diamond, Luke Langley! Langley's trying to get back in that Diamond State Heavyweight Championship picture. He's got his opportunity here. If he wins, he gets a shot at the Diamond State Heavyweight Champion, which is currently being held by your boy, Pineapple Jack. Looks like somebody over here believes in miracles. Why, yes. And that leaves one participant. And he is classically violent. Let's enjoy the show. what Anna Ray just announced. He is classically violent. He knows how to pick apart your opponent. But in this match, he's got two opponents to face. So it's a, it's a question of a little bit of luck and a whole lot of timing to win a triple threat match. Well, hope and timing are two things that the wrestling savant, the classically violent William J. Blackwell doesn't need for sure because he's going to decimate Tino Valentino and he is going to take care of Black Diamond Luke Langley. Tino Valentino is hugging that tag team title, but of course it's, there, it's not at stake. That title is still going to be very much in the hands of Tino Valentino after the match. And this brings back this conversation that we've had many times. Singles, uh, tag team wrestlers in singles type matches. Tino might be out of his element in this triple threat match where he's got no tag partner to tag. That's the one thing I will agree with you so far here, Jake. And, uh, you know, history here being in Diamond State Wrestling so far, that's rang true. So Tino almost got a cheap shot from William J. Blackwell, catches the leg, and now he and Luke Langley are taking turns. Knife edge trots. And a good old-fashioned double drop kick on top of that. Looks like he found a temporary tag partner. Well, that gets Blackwell out of the picture, and now it's a one-on-one -on -one affair, at least for now. Because it's going to take two people to do the job of one extraordinary person to take out William J. Blackwell. So it's Valentino and Langley in the middle of the ring, side headlock by Langley. More traditional style match to start out this uh, triple threat. Shoulder tackle by Langley. Langley is strong. You can tell the man is chiseled. He knows what's going on. He is. He can move around the ring. He is what a champion looks like in this company. And you see the back and forth between Valentino and Langley in the middle of the ring. And they both had the same ideas and they're both quickly back to their feet. You say he looks like a champion. You say he's chiseled like a god. Well, I'm chiseled like a god. I look like a god. Maybe the god being Buddha, but Luke Langley, I do got to give it to you. He's a wrestling machine, but no match for the wrestling savant. Blackwell back in the ring, and he's once again double teamed by Langley and Valentino. The double hip toss, and Valentino with a hip attack pushes the classically violent Blackwell out of the ring. That's an illegal use of cake. Oh, nice move by Blackwell with the use of the ring apron. And just like that, when you thought you could count out the classically violent William J. Blackwell, he's always got something up his sleeve. That's how better than the rest of the competition he is. And now he's going to show what a true championship pedigree looks like. Nice throw by Valentino. He's got Blackwell in the corner, charges in, and gets a big boot to his face. And now Valentino. As you see, Blackwell has Valentino's leg, and there's a part that 
Blackwell's going to work over. Look as he stretches Valentino in the middle of the ring and the headbutt to the exposed ribs. He was giving him free dental work. Langley's on the outside. He just now freed himself from the ring apron, which in a match like this is very smart on Blackwell's part. But Blackwell will use anything and everything to his advantage that he can to score the win. And as you see, perfectly legal in this match is there's no disqualification and the referee, Brian Scott, just sitting there looking like an idiot. Valentino got out of the way, and now a big boot from Blackwell puts him down again. And look how Blackwell uses Valentino as a human throwing object. Pushes Langley back outside, and a nice throw by Blackwell. The awareness, the elite wrestling IQ of William J. Blackwell. That's why he was the longest reigning in inaugural Imperial division champion, and he will soon be, one day, a heavyweight champion. Well, he's going to win this. He's going to have to win this match if he wants a shot at that belt. Nice kick by Tino Valentino. And Valentino getting some space between he and Blackwell. Langley still trying to gather himself. He jumps back up in the ring, catches Blackwell with the big forearm, another forearm shot. And then a nice kick to the midsection, kick to the head, and an insecurity by Langley. And back in the corner stunned is Blackwell. But once again, Langley charges in, Blackwell sidesteps. Langley gets out, and he is able to get waist control, throw Blackwell down in the corner, running start and the hesitation shotgun drop kick. Say so Luke Langley knows a little bit about what William J. Blackwell is all about. These guys have these guys have gone pound for pound with each other. And then there's Tino. Five minutes have passed, 15 minutes remain. So a 20 minute time limit in this triple threat matchup. And now Langley's got firm control of both wrestlers, of Blackwell and Valentino, but Blackwell bops, blocks the suplex. Nice move by Tino Valentino. Comes in with the sling blade, and as a, as a result of that move, Blackwell gets DDT, and he's on the outside of the ring, and now it's back to a one-on-one -on -one matchup. If I'm Blackwell, I'm going to stay down, catch my breath, and let these two annihilate Ooh. each other. Another, nice hip attack. Another illegal use of cake. Standing moon salt. Two count. And now Blackwell back in the ring. Double axe handle to the back of Valentino's head. And now he's going for a sharpshooter on Luke Langley. Oh, nope. Motivated. Mo Modified. <laughs> Thank you very much. Modified. Look at that. And while he's standing there, uh oh. Uh -oh. Northern Light Ooh. Suplex. He's got one in a submission hold, the other in a pinning combination, and Blackwell nearly scored the victory. What's Blackwell got now? What an amazing sequence of moves he's, by the classically violent he's William J. Blackwell. King Rhodes. Big super kick by Langley. And Langley now going to try and focus attention on Tino Valentino. Ducks up into a fireman's carry. Uh-oh. Langley. Oh! Dives in using Valentino. Takes Blackwell out. Goes for the pin. Scores a two count only. Now he goes for the pin on Blackwell. Another two count. Looks like those two counts are rated E for everybody. Langley, he's looking to put someone away. Say these guys are fighting for everything for a chance to be world champion. Blackwell gets out of it. Come on, Blackwell. Dragon sleeper. Uh oh. He tucks it in. He's got one leg around the hip, but you see Valentino's making his way to the top. He's going to have to hurry. Man. Elbow drop. On both men, it breaks the dragon sleeper. Valentino goes for the win, gets a two count. It looks like you're going to need more than that to take down the Black Diamond. Valentino. 
Going for the roll up. Oh. Misses the kick. Oh. Flatliner. Now Valentino. He's feeling it. Goes for the suplex, but Brainbuster. Langley. Brainbuster. The Black Diamond Brainbuster. Blackwell throws Langley out of the Let's ring. Goes home. for the pin and scores the victory. Your new number one contender. William J. Blackwell, I told you before, a little bit of luck, a whole lot of timing. Blackwell timed it just right, and once again, the United screws over Luke Langley, and it's William J. Blackwell who is now the new number one contender for the Diamond State Heavyweight Championship. Luke Langley screwed Luke Langley. Luke Langley should have known that right over his shoulders was classically violent. The king of diamonds now. And a, it's called taking advantage of the opportunities presented to you, Jake. Come on. King of diamonds, 2024, the classically violent William J. Blackwell. And that is your new king of diamonds tournament winner, William J. Blackwell. Diamond State debut. That is one kind of specimen right there. Oh. This is our first time laying eyes on Mubabi, and he is, he's making his debut, but he's making his debut against someone special. Representation, someone that is investing into Drayshawn Prince, and that is Truman Hudson the Third. Truman Hudson the Third is an investor. He knows how to make money, and he thinks that he can make a lot of money with Drayshawn Prince. I'm all about making money in this business. I'm all about investments, making the right deals. You know, this guy, he looks like he's been the Wall Street and back all good and dandy. But in this business, it's about championships too. And with the United, the investment that could have been made with the United, they're a championship pedigree group. They're all about the gold. And that could have been it for Drayshawn Prince, winning gold with the United. 
And I talked to Drayshawn Prince earlier today. He doesn't know anything about Muwabi. And so this is new to him as well. And Muwabi wrestles barefoot. And as you can see, is a little bit different than your average wrestler. And he immediately takes down Drayshawn Prince. And Drayshawn gets to the ropes to break up the uh, to break everything up. Oh. And now Muwabi signaling he wants Drayshawn in the middle of the ring. And I don't even think Muwabi knows who Muwabi is or what Muwabi does. Go behind by Drayshawn Prince. And Muwabi just shakes Prince off. The gentleman on the outside in the suit, that is Truman Hudson III. He is also making his Diamond State debut here on Fallis. He is the representative of Drayshawn Prince. Drayshawn using his speed to slip out that big right hand, and now he's giving Muwabi his own right hands. And Muwabi catches him with double axe handle and takes down Prince. Big elbow drop by Muwabi. And as you can see, not much to Muwabi other than just pure power. Going in straight ahead, all offense, and you can see it's taking its toll on Drayshawn Prince. This guy's an absolute brute. Just a blatant choke by Muwabi. But like you like to say, at least legal for four seconds. Muwabi. Wonder what kind of special counsel he's got from Mojave. Goes back to work on Drayshawn Prince. Mojave, Irish whip, far side of the ring. Drayshawn hops over. Big knee lift to Mojave, and Mojave is stunned. Prince going on the attack. Big drop kick. It's a picture. Perfect. That's textbook right there. Crowd's loving every single bit of this one. And now Drayshawn Prince going to the top rope. And Muwabi smartly rolls out of the ring to regain some momentum to get his bearings to figure out how he wants to attack Drayshawn Prince. Muwabi. Going around the ring. Now he grabs the briefcase of one Truman Hudson III. Chases away. Hey, Truman Hudson III. And Muwabi going around, but he gets caught with the big PK type kick. Muwabi's able to fall back into the ring, but he rolls right back out. Drayshawn. Oh! A standing moonsault off the ring apron onto the floor. The pure athleticism of money back guaranteed. Drayshawn Prince back into the ring. What is he thinking about now? I mean, I've been thoroughly impressed with Drayshawn Prince. Been a believer of him. Leaps over the top rope onto Muwabi, onto the floor, and now they're going at it. Oh. oh my goodness, Muwabi showing off the power and slams the back of Drayshawn Prince into that steel ring post. And Muwabi has eyes on Truman Hudson III once again. But this time, Muwabi gets back in the ring. I think we need to get uh, Drayshawn Prince a chiropractor. <laughs> Muwabi wants the referee to count to 10, see if he can count out Drayshawn Prince. Does Muwabi even know how to count to 10? Uh, good question. Up to a four count. Muwabi is obviously would be happy with a count out victory. Truman Hudson III trying to get Drayshawn Prince back to his feet. Drayshawn rolls in under the bottom rope very reluctantly. And here goes Muwabi <sighs> working on the back that took the damage on that hit onto the steel post. Any further punishment 
Maybe the ref be calling this one. So Muwabi going back to work. Mm. More work on that lower back of Drayshawn Prince. And Prince is not moving well at all. The damage, the toll that it's taking on that back is evident. Now Muwabi brings Prince back to his feet. Looking for a vertical suplex. Goes up and over. More damage to that lower back. Muwabi goes for the cover. Gets a two count. And you can see the bewilderment on the face of Muwabi. What does he have to do to put away Drayshawn Prince? You can see Muwabi likes to work a very deliberate, a very slow, methodical pace in dealing out the punishment. And now, and now Muwabi trying to get, you know, fanfare, encouragement from the crowd. Muwabi and goes to the ooh. air and comes up empty. Drayshawn able to move out of the way, and now Drayshawn trying to get back to his feet. Trying to find a way to mount some offense against this big man, Muwabi. Drayshawn, leaping cutter. But how much damage did that take on Drayshawn Prince? Muwabi is not getting up. Drayshawn's got to roll over. Come on. Drayshawn going back to the top rope. But Mawabi's all the way on the other side. Drayshawn up to the second row. Mawabi back to his feet. Uh -oh. Mawabi sees Drayshawn, uh -oh. goes after him. Big right hand. Another big right hand to the head of Drayshawn Prince. Winds up. Hits him again, but this time it's blocked by Drayshawn and he retaliates. Headbutt by Drayshawn. And that Ooh. headbutt knocked Drayshawn off the top rope down to the floor. And Truman Hudson III tending to his client. Say, it's not looking good for Money Back Guarantee Enterprises tonight. Muwabi once again waits. He does not go after Drayshawn onto the floor. The referee administers the 10 count. And Truman Hudson just literally rolls Drayshawn back into the ring. And Muwabi is happy to greet him. And Muwabi just throws him right back out. Maybe he's wanting Truman Hudson. <laughs> Muwabi <laughs> wanting the official to do the 10 count. And like Drayshawn is outside the ring, very slow moving, very slow to get back. Looks like mawabi has got better things to do this time. He's done the job. <laughs> Drayshawn comes back into the ring and he's asking for more. And Muwabi will oblige with big right hand. Brings Drayshawn back to his feet and then pounds him back down to his knees. Another big clubbing right arm to that damaged back of Drayshawn Prince. How much is enough? Muwabi has a tendency to lose focus, and right there he lost focus and he paid for it. Big boot to the midsection. Another boot to the midsection by Drayshawn Prince. Prince rolls over. The kick to that right knee of Muwabi takes the big man down. Drayshawn gets some space. Now he gets the running start. Shotgun drop kick into the corner. On to Muwabi. Drayshawn Prince regroups in the far corner. Come on, Drayshawn. Cannonball. Muwabi's down. Drayshawn goes for the cover. Gets the two count. Just quite not enough. Can't keep the big man down. And Muwabi shaking out the cobwebs. Go! Oh. Vicious double axe handle to the side of the head, and Drayshawn Prince may be out cold, but again, Muwabi loses focus. Now he goes back to Drayshawn. Instead of going for the cover, he's looking to inflict more punishment. Three minutes have passed, five minutes remain. He throws Drayshawn Prince out. 
it seems to me that Muwabi is content with going for a 10-count victory as opposed to a pinfall or a submission. I mean, three is a lower number than 10. Muwabi this time, uh -oh. he's going to the outside. And Truman Hudson the third's getting out of Dodge. Apparently, Muwabi wants a piece of Truman Hudson the third. But Drayshon able to get to Muwabi, slams Muwabi's head into the steel post, slams the back of his head into that steel post, rolls Muwabi white right back into the ring, and Drayshon Prince goes back to work. Prince. He's going to call for the end. Tries to get the big man up into that fireman's carry, but that back is up to too much damage, and Muwabi able to power Drayshon Prince into the corner and now ramming shoulders into the midsection of Drayshon Prince. Prince can barely stand, and now he takes the big feet of Muwabi to his chest. Truman Hudson. Uh-oh. Doing anything he can for his client. Truman Hudson III got caught. And now he's leaving. He done provoked the bear. Truman gets back into the ring. He's trying to find any way he can. Uh-oh. He's oh got Truman Hudson III up on his shoulders. But Drayshon there for the save and a big clubbing right hand by Muwabi. He made the save and took a forearm for it. Muwabi goes for the big stinger splash in the corner. Drayshon Prince rolls to the outside. He sees Muwabi down on the mat. Drayshon Prince going to the high rent district. He's calling his shot. Shooting star Prince. This is it. And Drayshon Prince gets the three count. Here's your winner, Drayshon Prince! <laughs> and just like that, money back guarantee intervention. The stop is just prison up there. Let's go talk. Drayshon Prince scores the victory over the newcomer, Muwabi. And for Muwabi, he had some opportunities, lost focus a little bit in the match. It seemed like he was more content about getting a count out victory than getting the three count. But the crowd shows their approval. We want to thank everybody for joining us here on Diamond State Flawless. We're going to see you next week when we have the best two out of three falls match for the Diamond State Heavyweight Championship. See you next week.